be careful. It's not like when I was a kid. Pot is much stronger now. Is it? Yes. Is it really? Well, yeah. So is that based off of your chronic cannabis use over the last 40 years or something else? Listen here, you little shit. A study was done that took a close look at this common phrase that's parroted in high school gyms, parent-teen conversations, and of course, parent-tween conversations. Dare to resist this deep dive as we look at this common claim, has cannabis got stronger over time? Is this valid or is it highly dubious? Today's paper is a meta-analysis from Freeman, Kraft, and Wilson. They published their findings in the journal Society for the Study of Addiction to look whether cannabis has gotten stronger from the 1970s till now. Now, let's start off with a few basics before we dive into this. THC, while fun and functional, comes with some drawbacks. Side effects. But its counterpart CBD does a great job of mitigating these side effects. If you have THC, having an equal or greater amount of CBD is ideal, but as we know, this is not always the case. But wait, if cannabis has gotten stronger, and by that, your high school guidance counselor does mean THC specifically, how much stronger has it become, and has the strength grown proportionately to the amount of CBD? Wisely, these researchers took that into account. There are different types of cannabis. It is not universal. And they fall into three general categories. And we're gonna go into their names slowly because it can get complicated. Are you ready? The first is type one. Whoa, slow down. Type one is a form of cannabis that's high in THC, but low in CBD. Then there's type two. Type two has an equal or comparable amount of THC and CBD. And then type three, which is CBD dominant. The study took into account samples from 1970 to 2017, but type three forms of cannabis really exploded in prevalence and popularity after the study was completed. But this shouldn't affect anything because they looked mainly at THC, right? Tens of thousands of samples were taken across eight eligible studies in several countries. The countries included the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Denmark, Italy, New Zealand, and of course the Netherlands. But no more waiting. What were the results? What did they find when it came to the strength of THC? Over 47 years, they found that herbal cannabis only had an increase of, drum roll, 0.29% THC per year. Ugh, pathetic. So unless your high school counselor was alive in the 1920s and bubbing left-handed cigarettes at the local jazz joint while watching vaudeville, tell him to get out of here. 23 skidoo and the like. It has not changed that much since you were a kid. Or has it? <coughs> One of the things they did notice though was that the amount of CBD over time remained unchanged. And as we know now, this might lead to the side effects of THC being more pronounced as time went on. While THC grew, albeit slowly, CBD stood stagnant. So this might add some credence to that statement. Or some eagles or whatever band you like. Now let's expand on what they found a little further. One of the studies in the meta-analysis looked at 2000 to 2004, and one nation had 3% growth in THC per year. Yeah, boy. That's gold medal level. And that country was... The Netherlands, to nobody's surprise, they had legal cannabis at the time. And this is where we can see economic factors come into play. But their nation took the cake, so congrats to you over six foot tall stoners. Is that offensive? Can I say that? Please don't send me any Dutch hate mail. Ah, those guys are all right. Rock iedere dakwit. Now let's take a look at the country that was most overrepresented in the study, the United States. In a similar timeline to the Netherlands, they found no discernible change. Only two of the included studies had randomized sampling from retail stores because they were few and far between at the time. Many of the other ones used samples from law enforcement and criminal seizures. <laughs> I'm sorry, so there was a little bit of a skew. And to call out the elephant in the room, a lot of things have changed when it comes to the availability of cannabis, namely because things aren't what they used to be medical authorization, decriminalization, and even legalization have happened in a lot of states and jurisdictions. And one great country was kind of left out of the mix, eh? We need to fix that. 
This is a nice Chesterfield. You might want to grab yourself a serviette, some butter tarts, glass of milk from a bag, and settle in because this is going to get way more complicated. Really sorry. Canada's legalization happened in the fall of 2018. And many other countries, including U.S. states and jurisdictions, followed after that. Coincidence? Or cause and effect. And since Canada's legalization, the CBD market has exploded. CBD dominant or type 3 strains have become very prevalent. They're used in households all across the country to treat a myriad of things, even in pets. And this would, of course, skew what we find when it comes to the strength of THC. And the issue gets complicated further. But again, legalization only happened in 2018, so we're just a few years removed from it. If you're old enough to partake in the electric lettuce, it wasn't this strong when I was a kid, does not hold up. Sure, it was difficult to answer it then, but it's near impossible to answer this now. But bless their hearts for trying. There's so many different factors here, political, cultural, scientific, economic, that have come into play. So this big, burgeoning, beautiful legal cannabis industry may make this study kind of outdated. Anyway, back to reality. Okay, now, this study does detail how more balanced strains are safer. I would agree. And how this new market changes so many things. No argument from me. Now let's get back to the heart of the matter. Has cannabis become stronger? I'm not sure this meta-analysis with its thousands and thousands of samples over decades can really answer that. Looking at the divide between THC and CBD over the years is very interesting. And it raises a good point. Now a stretch would be saying that cannabis has become imbalanced. But that doesn't mean that it's become any stronger. This is a great study and you can read the paper down below. But anyone who tells you for a fact, cannabis is way stronger than it was when I was a kid, has made a pretty big blanket statement. Where did you grow up? When did you grow up? Did you even grow up? How do you even know what the strength of cannabis was when you were a kid, Mr. Higgins? There are too many moving parts to say for sure. So while this study is certainly valuable, saying that cannabis has gotten stronger is highly dubious. And that's it. Pass this video on to someone who you feel could get a buzz off of it. Thank you so much for joining us. Subscribe for more discussions. Stay well read. And we will see you soon.